$100 per hour, every hour, 365 straight days, 24-7, 365, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, whether you're working, whether you're playing, $100 an hour. Good job. Yeah. You're pressing your butt. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the Daily Bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the Daily Bread. $876,000. The next real milestone. Headed to Georgia. What can I do for you? What part of Georgia? I'll be kind of near Atlanta. Near Atlanta? Near Atlanta. Got a freaking ton of meetings. Ton of meetings. Uh, tomorrow I think I have like seven meetings or something crazy. Seven meetings starting at 5.45? Starting at 5. Starting at 5. Yeah, first thing's at 5. Last thing doesn't start till 9 p.m. Headed into meeting number three of the day. Got this one, one more, three. I think two or three more after that. $876,000 in annual income means that you would make $100 per hour, every hour, 365 straight days. 24-7, 365, $100 an hour. Whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, whether you're working, whether you're playing, $100 an hour. And there's something just interesting to me in that milestone but it means so much more and I think it'll be an interesting teaching point for tonight it's 12 15 a.m. <laughs> what is your time worth? what do you value or how do you value your time the quote has become cliche over the last few years that you're is your most valuable asset. Uh, we all know that, but what does that actually mean? Because what I find is in practice, most people are not treating their time as if it is their most valuable asset. They are careless with their time and how they spend it, how they waste it, and how they allow others to steal it. And so as you evaluate and audit your day, and as you make decisions throughout your day on where your time will be spent, you need to start looking at what it's actually worth. And so let's just take whatever your goal income is. We're going to use 876000 because that's my goal income right now, uh, but it's also just an easy number. So if I know that my time is worth $100 an hour, then I have to ask myself, with every hour that I spend, was it worth $100? If the answer is no, then I don't need to do that. And what does that mean? That means either delegating it, that means uh, that it just doesn't need to be done, but can somebody else do it? Can you get by and not doing it? Can you pay someone to do it? Again, less than $100, because if you can pay somebody less than $100 to do it, then that is a good use of your money if you feel your time is worth $100 an hour. And so as you go out throughout your day, whatever that looks like for you, if it's $20 an hour, if it's $10 an hour, if it's $50 an hour, whatever that is, if you take that goal income and what you feel you are worth at the end of the year and you break it down into what does that mean per hour, you can start looking at every single second that you spend and make decisions based on your worth. 
but it starts with knowing your worth and knowing the value of your time. And that's just something that you're going to have to make a decision in based on your current career, based on future opportunities, but really based on your worth. No one can really tell you what that is. But if you operate within that value, that value is what your life will ultimately turn into. Uh, And I think there's something powerful about that. Like we talk about law of attraction a lot, but when you start operating in a zone where you eliminate things that are not worth the value of that time, it will create that amount of value in your life. So if you just think of the smallest things, let's just take a simple chore of mowing the lawn. Because that three, four hours that I spend mowing my lawn, I could be spending with my family. I could be spending doing something productive um, that's worth more than what I pay the person that comes and does it for me. So if I pay that person, even if it's $85 an hour to come mow my lawn, if I value my time at 100, that is a positive return on that investment. The reality is it's usually a wider gap than $15. And a lot of the things that we're spending our time on are a much wider gap in our perceived value and our actual value of that time. And if you start thinking about it as just taking out your wallet, taking out a $100 bill, crinkling it up, throwing it in the trash. That's what that hour that was just spent just scrolling through Facebook not looking at content, not connecting with people, not sending DMs, just mindless scrolling for an hour, $100, ball it up, throw it in the trash can. I think when you start looking at your life through the lens of value of time, that it will allow you to allocate the right time to the right activities and it will enable you to level up. The way you condense timelines is by focusing all of your energy and all of your time on the highest ROI.